the East Coast. This is good afternoon. This is our weekly uh, workshop. <coughs> Sorry about that. My uh, voice, unfortunately, thank God for virtual. I can't get nobody sick, but the voice is a tiny bit hoarse today. So we're going to have some fun this morning and um, got a lot of great things to cover. And my name is David Weiner, and you'll get a chance at the end to see my bio and everything. And for those of you in the financial services industry that are our guests today, I want to welcome you. Those of you that are our guests that have been referred to us today, uh, <clears throat> looking to be placed in the business, this, this workshop is for you. And for our attorneys, our CPAs, and uh, PNC agencies, I also want to welcome you today because you're going to see what we exactly what we do. And, and I got to tell you, our model is amazing. I'm kind of going to prep the model. This metal model was a long time in working. It took me a long time to put this together. I sat, watched, and observed uh, one of our federal agencies for almost two years. Their mandate was to uh, create jobs. And um, over the last three decades in this country, we've given away a lot of jobs. Our infrastructure in the United States was practically given away. And to create jobs, you've got to create companies. You've got to create businesses. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm looking forward to uh, speaking this morning. If you're sitting in here and and you think some of the stuff actually resonates with you and it kind of it kind of fits you, well, it should because it fits a lot of Americans, especially in the demographics that we work in, that 45 to 60 year old. Again, I want to welcome you to the uh, session today, and uh, we'll we'll begin right now. There's 92 million Americans out of work in this country. And the bulk of them are in the ages of 45 to 60. It is the most hammered, hurt demographic ever in the history of mankind, for ever one demographic to be hurt so bad of people. Even if you do manage to get a new job, it's always been at a significant less amount of money than what you physically were making. This is by far the most difficult era ever in keeping the 45 to 60-year-olds solvent. This is the first uh, generation of people that are not going to have guaranteed income at retirement. In fact, it can be argued and said this might be the first generation that probably won't be able to retire. In addition to that, how many people here in, in the workshop are aware of people that are graduating, graduating from major universities unable to secure work in the expertise they went to school with? And this, again, this is the first time ever in this nation we're such a, a huge proportion of people going to school. You don't go to college to end up working at Walmart. Just that, that's a, a non-make sense. It doesn't make any sense. So today, folks, I want you to enjoy and learn the workshop called Dare to Dream Again. And we're going to begin. And, and I'm going to tell you, that model that I witnessed over the last two years had traffic in, in these federal agencies last year, 1.3 million visitors. And um, business ownership is your path back to prosperity. And a lot of people say, like, well, when you went to school, you know, so like, you can go to school, get educated, and go get a job, or you could have gone to school and owned a business. Now, I am not talking about some pie in the sky type business, uh, like a multi-level marketing deal or some crazy thing like that. I'm talking about legitimate American types of business. I'm talking about owning a Midas muffler shop or a McDonald's restaurant or a startup idea. It doesn't have to be amazing, but you have to have control of your income. And the only way you're going to have control of your income is by doing these tiny things. Now, I got to tell you, one of the things that made that work and you know, on the federal agency is they were able to put together financing. Well, the entity that put together the federal lending platform for all their 967 locations across the United States built the same thing for me. Today I have over 3,700 lenders ready to help you. Now I've got a lot of businesses that don't require financing, don't require loans. We've got ways to put you in business that doesn't require a lot of capital. But if you choose a business that, that requires capital, like owning a franchise or a great startup idea, well, here's the great news. We have that on the table today. 
We have funds for we have funds for startups, working capital, installment loans, SBA lending, leasing, factoring, purchase orders. You want to be a real estate investor, private capital, you name it. We've got the funding. Last year in the United States, there was two trillion dollars funded in, in in commercial money out there. And guess what? In our firm, our agency, our associates. We did loans and submissions in the last three months in excess of two and a half billion dollars for people like you sitting in the room. Our lenders include some of the nation's largest banks, little banks, private banks, private lenders, specialty lenders, insurance companies, mutual fund companies. We believe within one year our firm will be the largest commercial lender of money in the world. How does it work? Well, when someone sits down with us, we package you. I can package you within 15 minutes. And then within, within a handful of minutes, almost 3,700 eyes take a look at your package online. I can get decisions made within a couple of days. No, not six months, not nine months. Actual decisions rendered. I had a, a dentist in my office who had been a, a victim of a horrific real estate world. Now he still has a practice that does over half a million dollars a year, but he had to short sale a lot of properties. He'd been he he'd been put through the meat grinder. His credit report looked like it had been shot up by by a shotgun for all practical purposes. And yet we found lenders within minutes who were willing to help him pay off some of his Guido type loans to make his life more palatable. In fact, I gotta tell you, we are the biggest capital source in every city across the country. And it really is that nice. You need money from us. You pay no upfront fees to me. Um, we work the deal. The banks work with you. And if they do business with you, here's the good news. We get paid a commission for bringing you and merging you uh, together. By you getting multiple offers from multiple banks at the same time, it allows you to be in the driver's seat. It allows you to negotiate for the best terms and pricing. There's over 40 different types of loans out there. And depending on the, the type and size, funding can take from three days to a matter of a couple of months, but it's not that big a deal. The process is simple. We match you. You get offers. You, 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 you do the paperwork with the bank. I don't even have anything to do with the paperwork process of that part. And whether you're doing a franchise, buying out a business partner, getting startup money, refinancing some equipment or just being a small business administration loan, it is the same portal and it really does work. And it's just an easy online questionnaire that I have to answer. I, I take the information nine times out of ten in person, once in a while over the phone, and then I hit the submit key. No documentation is needed. The lender to request all necessary documentation. It allows you from owning a financial services practice like this one with almost no money out of pocket, all the way to buying a million dollar investment in a McDonald's. We're able to do that with you. I had a person come in a few weeks ago, before the first of the year, and they'd spent 26 years in management between Bob Evans and IHOP. I said, that's your wheelhouse. You don't need to be in the insurance industry. What you need to be is in your area of expertise, owning, not managing as a general manager of a restaurant, but physically owning a business. We help you in this room take control of your life and we do know the steps in order to get an investor or a banker to invest in you. So getting a bank to say yes to you, what do you got to do? Does it take a good credit score? Well, we know nine times out of ten it does. You need to have your personal house and financial order. I've been in the financial service industry a long time. We know how to get you in good shape. Should your resume match what you want to do? Well, I think it should. Do you need a stellar marketing plan? Yeah, you really do. And that's why I love franchises, because they already got a marketing plan. Or my industry, you know, the financial services industry. We've got a stellar marketing plan. And for those of you that have been invited here today as a financial services practitioner, wait till you see at the end of the, 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 the program today what's in it for you. I'm going to tell you right now, for those going in the financial services industry, you've never had a more stellar marketing plan than the one you'll see today. You got to have a website, not some app, 
but a legitimate website that promotes your company with commercial and links to your social media. You have to demonstrate to the bank you know how to, to promote yourself. And, and how to market yourself. And it's got to be in the mobile world. It can't be some uh, desktop type project or WordPress. We use the same firm that is used by the federal agencies. And they do a phenomenal job. And every rep we take on in the financial services industry, every person, whether it's a business owner, future business owner, a financial service practitioner, we, we, every one of them is put together for you. We'll talk about that more in a second. Business continuation, that's where I shine. I've given speeches on it. The capital sources, the banks, they love our business continuation planning. And it's funded by the new type of life insurance. And if you're sitting here in the room and you know what life insurance is, in the past, banks have always stipulated to get a loan. You've got to have life insurance. Well, they love the new type. And since there's 149 million policies in force in America and only 86,000 of the new type, even if you own life insurance, it's a really good chance you have no clue what the new type of insurance is. You're going to need an attorney. For the attorney sitting in the room today, I got to tell you, this is the first time in my life I'm able to give clients to attorneys because attorneys are needed in every startup and every franchise that we do. We're able to create relationships in every community with an attorney. If you're sitting in the room and you're a property and casualty agency, there are things we want to. I'm going to talk about that at the end today. But for you to be sitting here, every time we do a business deal, a PNC agency must be brought to the table to do that workman's comp and do that liability coverage. And if you were invited here today, it means you're needed. And if you're willing to do what we ask of you, you're going to love the trade. It's an incredible trade for you. And for those CPAs in the room and bookkeepers in the room today, you know what? Very few CPA and bookkeepers really get us and understand us. There's a lot of books written on the subject of doing it our way. If you want to be our CPA in that community, working with the numbers, working on the buy-sell agreements, becoming that bookkeeper for that startup company, learn how we do business. We won't take on a CPA, no matter how great you are, unless you do business the way that we do it. We have a process. And you're already doing the first step. You're attending a workshop on owning a business today. That's, part, that's step number one. The second step, whether you're a financial service practitioner learning our model or whether you're a consumer learning to own a business, the second step is an actual interview, a one-on-one -on -one counseling session with an advisor of ours. We will discuss with you what type of business you desire, whether it's the services industry or owning a franchise. It doesn't matter. We'll talk about your background how you're a fit or not a fit. We'll talk about your credit score. If we deem it a loan is needed, we'll pull credit right then and there. We will complete on that interview, and listen carefully, even insurance agents, we will complete a financial analysis. I can't tell you how many times an insurance agent or financial practitioners come to the table and your own financial health is not in order. We'll look at money. We'll see if it's in harm's way. We live in a world right now where the markets could tomorrow destroy your money. It's not necessary. I'm not here to spend it. We're here to protect it. We are going to review what type of life insurance you own. And let's face it, if you got the old type and you understand the new type, whether we're doing a household continuation plan or a business continuation plan, we will put the new type in play. And, and, and you will want that, not me, but you're going to want that. If you have a great credit score, we're going to go right to the lending portal and get you that loan. If you don't, we're going to refer you, not to some slimy entity, but a, but a good credit restoration firm. And you know what, folks? They're not going to absolve you of your debt, but they're going to make you palatable. They're going to remove things that are inside that credit report that, that shouldn't be there. And then they're going to bring you back to me, and we're going to take care of you and get you where you need to be. We're going to help you set up marketing. That's, that's that Stellar website. They're going to film a commercial for you. They're going to do all those links and show you how to market yourself on social media. They're going to set up a loyalty rewards program. And it's not going to cost thousands like any normal uh, structure of that nature. They actually build that for under $130, which is so inexpensive. And hosting-wise, if you know the cost of hosting a mobile website in this country, a couple hundred bucks a month, we've got that thing hosted for about 10 bucks a week. So that's very inexpensive. 
and we don't have to spend a gazillion hours putting it together. They, they take care of all of that for us. Business continuation planning and household continuation planning, making sure your business and your personal home are not affected by being stricken by a tragic illness. I'm going to tell you right now, as I talk about that today, that's a big deal to me. That's, that's my wheelhouse. That's where I've become famous, and you're going to find out about that in my resume at the end of the day. We start with business continuation planning. Protecting your capital source is so, so important. You know how many small business owners don't document uh, how, how, what they do to run their business? Well, you know, being a secret business owner is not cool. There are three entities that rely on that company. And the first one is you, the owner of that business. We know as a small business owner, 77% of your assets are going to be in that company. The, the money you take out of that company is to pay your bills. Last year in the United States, the average age of death was 80 for a female, 74 for a male. 84% of the population died of heart attacks, strokes, and cancer. Folks, the average age of a claim to a health entity for a critical illness, including those three illnesses, heart, stroke, and cancer, in the United States was 43. Almost two-thirds of the bankruptcies in this country were medical incapacitation. And I'll talk about that more in a second, but that's real. And the average age of a medical BK in this country was 44. 52% of the claims in this country are between 41 and 50. And 7 out of 10 people stricken by a critical illness under 65 don't end up in a box. They live. But it's still a disaster. In the past, when business continuation plans were funded, they were funded by traditional life insurance. A bank is not happy if you don't die in the old plan. Yes, I really said that. They're not happy if you didn't die because all of a sudden your, your, your entire business is on tilt if you got sick. First off, you can't take your income out of the business. That's a big deal. What happens to your household if you don't have your income that you, you would have taken out? Your company's in a state of confusion. It's not operating. It's not functioning. It's not making sales. Guess what? The employees that work for you won't have a job if the company's in a state of confusion. And if your spouse has to sell that company in a state of confusion, a company that's already in debt and now no longer functioning, he or she can't get fair market value. They'll get pennies on the dollar, which means the third entity, the capital source itself, won't get its loan money back. It does not have to be that way. Folks, a business continuation plan is simple. We need money for all three sources. The first thing I need money for is to cover the business overhead for the next 12 to 18 months. I need time to see if you're going to come back to work. If your overhead's 50000 a month, let's get you 900000 up front. This is not AFLAC. This isn't Colonial. This is business continuation plan, economic 101, the kind of planning that banks want today. And if we have enough money to cover your overhead, that includes the money you were taking out. So the first thing we did is we protected your home. We then kept your employees working. And we're going to add a little bit more money to the mix to hire one or two people. And last but not least, we're going to make your company completely debt-free the day you got sick. A business continuation plan is just that, folks. Enough money released the day you got ill to pay off all your debt. I'm going to put together household continuation planning at the exact same time. Enough to pay off all your bills the day you got ill, not dead. And last but not least, the most important thing, we're going to release enough funds up front to buy an annuity to protect your income. Oh, yes protect your income, 100 cents on the dollar. And if you do succumb to the illness or injury, folks, if you do pass on, your income is protected for life, 100 cents on the dollar to the missus. It is funded by life insurance, but it is the new type. And guess what? 
I can package that insurance into the loan. And we can get, let's say the, the prim is $4,000 a year, I can package that in a loan for about $33 a month. That's great business continuation planning. It is the new type of stuff. And it permits us to do what we do best, help you, the owner, with state-of-the-art marketing. Now, you, the business owner, if you don't do household continuation planning, if you don't do business owner continuation planning, who pays your house payment? How does your car payment get functional? Who funds your retirement if you go down for the count? It does not have to be that way. Every year, millions will suffer a critical or chronic illness, such as a heart attack or cancer. Every year, the average age of a claim is 43 years of age. 1.7 million Americans declared bankruptcy due to health issues last year. Almost had adequate health insurance, and the average age of a medical BK is 44. You see what that is right there? That's a check. That's a check from a life insurance company for a death claim paid to the insured, not the beneficiary, while the insured was alive. That person, one, bought in 2011 a life insurance contract, a 20-year term for $58 a month for $389,000. A year later was diagnosed with stomach cancer and had almost 89% of his death benefit released up front while he was breathing, not in a box. All of this is possible because that gentleman right there, Dr. Marius Bernard, he is our Christian Bernard, did the very first human-to-human -human heart transplant back in December of 1967. They did a great job. They kept people alive. And i got to tell you, that part of business planning and household continuation planning, that's all part of what we physically do. And if it wasn't for him making change in America with insurance companies during the 80s, 90s, and millennium, none of this would have came to full. Not get a private loan or a business loan in the United Kingdom without owning a new type of insurance. They project in America that almost $100 billion will be replaced over the next couple of years in life insurance premiums to the new type. And what about the money you bring to the table from that past job that you're sitting in the room here, folks. A lot of advertisements want you to spend and blow that 401k money. Please, we're not going to let you do that. I have no desire to do that today. In fact, we want you to dummy-proof your, 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 your crumbs. Whether you bring 50000 to the to, to the meeting or 100000 to the meeting, we don't want you blowing that money. In fact, we'll do an IRA rollover with you to the company that once insured Abraham Lincoln. One of the cool things you'll find out is that particular company will actually add to your, your contract 30% to your IRA. So if you came to the table with 50000 you would leave the table at day with 65000 and 30 days later, your income would start, giving you a guaranteed income for life of 2500 a year. We know stress kills you. And with that, that, that 2500 we're going to buy you between $1.2 and $1.5 million of the new type of insurance. We have no idea how you're going to deal with, as being a business owner with us. But we know 8 out of 10 businesses fail. Stress causes strokes and heart attacks. And we'll be able to release up to 90% of that life insurance death benefit up front. Do you know what that means? You've got a million dollars in your hand, and I'm able to go back to that same insurance company, pick up 300000 in bonus money, and deliver to you 30 days after you having a heart attack an income stream of about 60000 a year. It is an exit strategy. It is protecting you. That's taking care of your needs. $60,000 a year of guaranteed income, depending on your age, guaranteed until you take your last breath, and God forbid you pass on, to your widow takes her last breath. And we funded it without touching the balance of that 401k. It really, truly makes that big a difference. So when we talk to you, when we talk about those 401ks and IRAs, People always say, well, you know, Dave, my wife still works in a job. She still has matching funds and stuff like that. Well, I'm here to tell you, we're going to educate you on that. 
the whole point of putting you in business is to increase your revenue so you can save more money for retirement. Most people don't save enough. And if you're saving an IRA 401k, it doesn't work. And if you're putting your money at risk, your savings nest egg, are you kidding me? Do you have enough time to replenish your funds if we crash the market again? And we pay too much in fees. According to the United States government, the average couple spends in their lifetime over $155,000 in fees. And what about taxes? Right now, taxes are as low as it can be, but they just proposed this week billions more in taxes against us. They want to take away the step-up basis. And do you think taxes are going to go up in the future? And if you believe they're going to go up in the future, does it make sense to defer a tax bill to where you pay more later? Well, we know it's going to go up because we, we know the Congressional Budget Office already stated it. Not me, not some book. The Congressional Budget Office stated if we don't change Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and by the way, I was listening to the Squawk Box this morning, Social Security is not going to be broke in 2030 or 2035. It's actually going to be broke and busted next year. But if you're in a 10% tax bracket, you can expect, according to the government, to go to 25%. If you're in a 25% tax bracket, expect to go to 63%. And if you're in a 34.9%, expect to go to 88%. What do most people do when they're saving money? Well, they put their money in the job. They get a deduction. They grow the money on a temporary tax deferment. When they spend it, it's totally taxable. And when they pass it on, it's taxable again to their heirs. The way we do it, we use an after-tax dollar. We get to grow it with no tax, spend it with no tax, and pass it on with no tax. You have a choice in this country. Pay taxes on the seed or keep doing it the way you've been doing it, paying it on the harvest. If I asked you which line would you like your money on, this is easy. You've got a red line and a blue line there. If you had a choice where to put your money, would you pick the blue line for your money or the red line? Well, I know you're going to choose the blue line because you're looking at the blue line. It looks better, right? But most people I visit with, you're on the red line because you keep exposing your money to harm. Warren Buffett's a smart man. He's the second wealthiest man in the world. He says, never lose money. That's his rule. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Now, I know it's hard to read all that up there on that, on that screen, but that's a, that's a snapshot of Saver A versus Saver B. Saver A on the left side, going back to the, you know, the last year of Clinton, the market was up that year. I'm giving everybody here in the room today a hundred grand. And on the left side, you can see we went up 19 and a half percent. Now, in the year 2000, the market crashed. It went down 10 percent. Why we had the dot-com implosion? The next year we had the 9-11 terrorist attack, lost money again. The next year we went into a full-blown recession. Then the real estate market took off. And we had prosperity for five straight years. In fact, you were completely broke even by the end of 2007 to where you were the last year, Clinton. Markets go up, markets go down. And in 2008, the insanity of the real estate bubble hit this country and it took down both real estate and the stock market. That 100000 was back down to 73000 By the end of 2014, we had rocked. That 100000 was now worth 167000 The average rate of return for everyone that played the S&P 500 the last 15 years was a 4.22%. But what if you had a contract that said you only participate in the ups, none of the downs? That's a return the last 15 years of 12.75. Where do you get such a return? Well, we get that in the, in the world of life insurance. A life insurance contract has that. And when you minus off the cost of insurance, our, our average rate of return went down to 10.41%. And because it's a life insurance contract, we have no taxation when you access those funds. It's tax-free. You got fees on your 401k plan, and you say average fees are three percent. We subtracted it down to half. I only showed taxes at thirty percent, but we know taxes are going up. 
that 167 really is only a spendable amount of money of $99,000 and change versus my 266000 in the life contract. But I get people all the time saying, Dave, I don't get that. Well, here, let's make it more, let's make it more understandable. 500 bucks a month into a 401k on the left side, 500 bucks a month in the index life plan. That's 6,000 a year. That's 180,000 between now and retirement, both sides. 180,000 left side, you got to deduct that. You got 2,000 back in refunds. No refund on the right side. You got the same income off both sides, 82,000 a year. Now, on my side, there's no taxes. That's 82000 you get to spend every dime. By the age of 100, a projected income is $2.8 million. Why is there only 459000 distributions on the left side? Because it ran out of money on the left side in six years. I'm projected to deliver 82000 all the way to age 120. Why am I out of money? Not because of contribution. We put the same amount of money, both deals. Not because of the rate of return. I, I didn't show 4.22% on the left side. I showed the exact same rate of return. The only reason you're out of money on the left side is because the cost of doing business was worse than it was on the right side. Now, at the age of 100, there's no recovery. If you're zero at 72, you're zero at age 100. But after spending $2.8 million on the right side, I've got $2 million left of a death benefit of $2.1 income tax free to your heirs. Which side do you prefer, the left side or the right side? But the number one killer is procrastination. The number one killer for saving money is you don't save enough money. And I don't blame you. Hey, I get it. I understand it. I know you don't save enough. I've had employers say for years, I'd rather do matching funds than have to save enough money to replenish that person's income. The days of the golden promise of the 70s, 60s, and 80s, where we used to give you a guaranteed income to replace your, you know, to replace your income, those days are over. The only thing you have right now is how much you save. Now, the average American in 401k today saves about 6,000 a year with employers matching about 3,500 of it. That's the nationwide averages. Well, to replace five income, these are the bottom line numbers. If you're 20 years of age, it's a piece of cake if you're able to get an 8% return, which is 800% more than what you get at a bank right now. That's 113 bucks a month. If you're 30 years of age, you've got to put away at least 260 a month. If you're 40 years of age, you better be putting away 628 a month. If you're 50 years of age, you best be at 1,700 a month. And if you're 60 years of age, that's a coronary number. That's 8,000 plus a month, almost $100,000 a year. How many people here today participating in the workshop are not saving enough? So in conclusion, before I get into what's in it for my financial practitioners and my attorneys and CPAs, what's in it for you, the consumer? You've just taken a handful of minutes today. Your dreams can become reality, folks. I can put you in a business. If you're saving a couple hundred dollars a month to retirement within 90 days from today, I can have you saving 1500 to 2000 a month. I can change your life. You owe it to yourself and your family to come in for a one-on-one -on -one counseling session. But it is up to you to dream again. It's not too late for you. You can change your life. And for those of you in the room here today that are strategic partners and financial service people, we're going to talk about my model. I want you to imagine as a financial service person right now that, that I allow you to dream again today. I know so many people in the insurance industry are just not cutting it. Imagine me placing you in a plush office where clients come to see you. Come through their, your, those workshops. And by the way, I'll structure that office where you have no rent or cost associated with that office. And that host location, they'll provide you referrals. A little bit about myself. You should know the person talking to you today. Well, I've been in this for 33 years. 
I've been considered a pioneer in this movement of living benefits. I've written with my own pen over 1.4 million in life insurance premium in a year. The Blue Cross companies of New Mexico, Texas, and Illinois, which was Healthcare Service Corporation in 2001, in their annual report, actually wrote a whole paragraph about my agency. I was asked to be an active participant in the first worldwide conference on critical illness in this country. I was the state chairman for the National Business Advisory Council for the state of Missouri. And I am the CEO and owner of Global Insurance. And we are in partnership as an agency with Freedom Equity Group. Now, a little about Freedom Equity Group. I've been there since the very beginning of that agency. I remember back in 1991, we had eight producing producers, and we did $1.6 million in production that year. In 1992, over 8,000 agents joined our company. We did over $16 million in premium on an average sale that year of $70 a month. That year, we introduced a thing called the floating management bonus, and guess what? Everybody fell in love with the floating management bonus. Today, it's the most unique compensation plan in the world. Here we are. Two decades later, and guess what, folks? Still nobody has copied it. We have the highest compensation plan in America, even today in 2015. In 96, we sold that agency to an insurance company. We were captive, but we, redid, we did re-enter the independent distribution system in 2003, and today, we're one of the largest insurance marketing groups in America. In fact, we were the number one producer for the largest insurance company in America last year, and we led three other insurance companies last year simultaneously. We produced just about $17 million in life insurance premium last year. Now, we have a goal to build the largest insurance practice in the world. And if you're in the room as an insurance practitioner, a financial service professional, or you're looking to be in business as a financial service practitioner, and you're well-dressed and articulate, and you have what I deem it needs to be, what it takes to be successful, I would like to place you in an office and provide my agency in that location signage when people come into that location knowing who we are. We have an amazing business model that within a couple of months, your actual host location will be providing you clients to come see you besides the clients that you're generating by doing my workshops like we did today. We will train you how to conduct these workshops. And within 30 days of engaging, folks, dollars a month of annuity production, 50000 a month in life production. And let's face it, you're a guest here today. But when's the last time you even came close to numbers like that? Because you have, a, you have a nightmare that's a reality in this world. You see, the things you've done in the past don't work. Cold calling doesn't work. Business owners don't have a time of day for you. Telemarketing doesn't work, not because of a do not call list, but because we're a smartphone world. We don't pick up the traditional phones anymore. Direct mail doesn't work. Why? I do my business online, so do you. I bank online. I pay my bills online. I don't pay attention to the mailbox. And why is the Internet so hard to master? Well, just Google my profession, life insurance. There's 18 million kits in the insurance industry. And why do so many independent financial service practitioners in the insurance industry have such a difficult time affording an office space let alone money to advertise your business. Heck, most insurance agents don't even realize that that's a business. You're no different than Ford Motor Company or Taco Bell or McDonald's. When you understand that you own a business, you can make it work. But if you follow my model, life can change for you because we have great goals. 30 days from the days of engaging, you'll be rocking. We're talking a million dollars a month in annuity production in this model, 50000 a month in life production. That's revenue to my vice presidents of $86,000 a month of income. That's a million dollars a year. I only ask two things from you. Now, I suggest that you put, a, you put back into the business 
25% of that revenue back into advertising. I don't care if it's TV, radio. Keep your workshops filled. I want you to be a stellar, stellar saver. Within 90 days, I don't care whether you're a consumer in the room or you're a member of my, of my, of my, business, my business community. I want you putting away $1,500 to $2,000 a month. And by the end of the first year of me, I have you saving six to 8000 a month. Now, that does change your life, doesn't it? Just a tiny bit. Now, if you're a, 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 a partner sitting here, like let's say you're invited today, you're a property and casualty owner. This is, this is not a bad day for you. These, these, these financial service practitioners are doing these workshops. Guess what? They're doing two things that should lighten up your day. You and I both know commercial insurance room doesn't grow on trees. They're going to have 10 to 15 to 20 commercial accounts a month, and we would like to give that to you. But also, they're going to be doing the new business continuation planning life insurance. They're going to be writing annuity premium that has nothing to do with your file cabinet. And we're willing to share 10% of the premium done in that location. We're willing to bring to you six to $7,000 a month of income that has nothing to do with, with what you're doing. We're willing to share that and bring that kind of income stream, but we're going to ask for something. We're going to ask you to house our agent in your location. We're going to ask you to put our agent in your location, and I want my agency signage in the reception area. When they come, in, when they come into the office space, it's important to me that they see my agency name as well as yours. It's a great trade, folks. It's a good partnership. And you're able to grade it on activity. You're able to grade it on people coming into that office, and it's going to create a, just a ton of P&C premium for you. But what is it? what's in it for me? You think, I can get an office for a lot less than six or 7000 a month. I can get all the nice amenities for way less than we're giving you. You see, people do judge a book by its cover. And if you're a P&C location today, I want your credibility. If you have a prestigious location, if you have a nice location, I'm not looking for a cubbyhole for my agent. I want a nice office in your location, and I want signage. It's the best trade you're ever going to make. It's good for us, and it's going to be great for you. And if it works out down the road, we're going to have an amazing relationship with you. We will become your biggest capital source for your existing clients. We'll become your life expert in that office. And we'll split cases with you all day long. You'll love this relationship. But in the meantime, your file cabinet does not have to open to us. We'll become a new sixty dollars to $80,000 in revenue that you didn't have today, now there, on an annum basis. I want to thank you for being in the room today as a PNC partner, and I really hope that you choose us as we choose you. You got invited because we loved your location and your credibility. I hope you love us because of our past reputation, the fact that we are a leader in life production, and that we really have it together. It's a great partnership for both of us. If you're in the room today as a CPA, we want that relationship. It's a possibility. We might even house an insurance at your office if you have a life license. We can bring the same things to the table with you, but we're going to need a CPA for our startups. We're going to need a CPA for our franchises, and there's not a shot in the world you're going to get picked if you're out there recommending IRAs and 401Ks. You're going to have to study our model, study the CPAs that we work with, and ascertain can there be a relationship between us and understand that the old way of doing business is just not acceptable, but we do need a, we need a modern day CPA in your community. I hope it's you, because we're going to give you a bucket load of business. And yes, we want that reciprocal relationship for you to bring us to those old clients that are doing things the old way. Because let's face it, folks, I sit down with CPAs all the time. In fact, I placed a CPA in our new modern day insurance in Idaho just recently, putting in one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year into a life contract. I just moved 250000 in Pleasanton, California from a CPA, 65 years old, ready to retire, money and brokerage, and we brought that into the new type of life insurance. So when you're in training or 
examples, you'll see all those types of things. CPAs can learn a new way of doing business. And last but not least, I love my attorneys. You're the most important people in the world. You're needed every day to do these buy-sell agreements and do these, you know, write those legal ease documents. We can create a great relationship and we can bring you 10 or 15 clients. And if you're a, an attorney that has a life license, you would like an extra 60 to 80,000 a year of revenue, we would love in a prestigious location to house one of our practitioners in your office. It would be great revenue for you. And let's face it, you have a file cabinet of buy-sell agreements done with the old type of life insurance and the old type of household continuation planning. Let's face it, once you've been involved with us for a short period of time, imagine bringing all those old clients back into the Mahogany Conference Room and having us explain the new type of business continuation planning and all that new billing for you, those old clients. Yes, there is room for a reciprocal relationship. And, and folks, with that said, you're able to dream again. You're able to see exactly what we bring to the table. Now, if you are a financial service practitioner, a PNC agency, a CPA, I need you to get back to the person that brought you to the table. You need to go through an interview process. We need to see if you fit into our plans. If you're an insurance agent wanting to be one of those people doing our workshops in those cities, your next step is a one-on-one -on -one interview. Schedule it as soon as possible. And guess what? That interview will probably be with me. Now, I turn a lot of people down. But just maybe, just maybe, you're for us as we are for you. God bless you, and have a great day.